So you want to learn how to vert paint in Unity. Uh, come to the right video. Let's um, give you a quick intro to vert painting. However, uh, we're going to have to go into some theory after this video to talk about the shaders. Uh, but I want to at least get you started with vert painting so you can touch and feel and do some stuff with it because I hate throwing too much theory at you at once. Um, so vert painting intro, what is it? Well, uh, vert painting in Unity allows you to essentially use a brush to paint red, green, blue, or black channels onto a mesh. And then each one of those channels corresponds to a unique look that will give your mesh, hence, a unique look. Um, so it's pretty much infinite possibilities because uh, you can combine these things together and um, they look really cool. It's uh, something completely new to V4. So the best way to show you or to, to, to get you going here is just give you an intro into vert painting. And that requires us to go into Unity. So in Unity, we have uh, this mesh right here, which is our fairway. In this particular fairway, uh, let's look at our inspector here. It is our um, is assigned this fairway default material, which again we decided uh, assigned in our set mesh materials script and uh, set mesh materials tool. So um, let's vert paint this bad boy. So first of all, to open up the vert painter tool, we come over here to our inspector with the, the shape or the mesh that we want to paint highlighted and we click open vertex painter and we get this pop up and it has a bunch of stuff in it. Now, the first thing first is we have our cursor now automatically now changes to this brush, this sphere thing that you see right here. And this brush essentially moves along the surface and allows us to paint the different channels, the four different channels. Um, and I can also turn this brush on and off. And why is this handy? Well, let's say you're, you want to do a lot of vert painting. Um, you can hit escape, which, because right now I can't select anything else, okay? I'm stuck in this brush tool. But let's say I want to start vert painting this, this rough. Well, instead of having to exit the vert painter and go out, you just hit escape. Highlight your rough, escape again, and now I can vert paint this rough area. So it allows us to essentially switch around. So I can hit escape, I could switch the semi, escape again, and now I can vert paint this semi. Oops, I have not enabled vert painting on this mesh yet. And that should be uh, something I'm gonna have to tell you about. Um, so when I turned on, when I went back, let me see escape out of here again. Let's go back to my fairway. When I turned on the Vert Painter tool, a couple things happened in the background that you might not be aware of. Um, one is I had this Add Palette script, um, which you probably, it's really not important to you guys, but we can. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you here in a second. Um, but we have this Vertex Instance Stream script added. This is essentially the code that stores our Vertex painting. Um, so when we do our vertex painting, it is uh, this vertex instance stream is what keeps it, okay, um, and stores that information. So those get added. So when I ex went over to this semi here, and um, I went to vertex painting, it said enable vertex painting. You click that, and it essentially adds those scripts. Okay, here they are now onto that. So if I click on another mesh like this guy right here. I'll get the same thing because those scripts are not present, so they have to get added. So that's what's going on there. Uh, just good to know. So let's go back to our fairway. So now we know how to switch quickly between them. So let me hit escape to enable my brush again. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna show you guys, if I do control V or I check this box right here, you can see that it shows my vert painting channels, which in this case, it is all red because we haven't done any vert painting and I didn't do anything in Blender either. So we don't see any green, we don't see any blue, we don't see any black at this point. So I'm gonna leave this on for now so you guys can see a couple things and which is associated with, we got our brush size. Okay, so now it makes our brush really big, way too big in this case, or you can make it pretty small. So I'm gonna leave it about this size. And actually I'm gonna turn a little bit there we go. So we have a little bit of area to work with. So brush size. Now, the next thing is brush flow and brush fall off. Brush flow essentially controls how quickly the brush is going to work when we use it. So if I turn brush flow all the way down 
and let me turn on green, I'm dragging across and you can see hardly anything's happening, right? You can you might be able to see a little bit, but I essentially have to go back and forth here a lot. OK, it's basically brushing very, very gently. I guess that would be the way to describe it. Now, if I move this brush float all the way across to the top, one stripe across and bang, it is 100 percent green. OK, um, it's not gentle at all. It's rather harsh. Brush fall off is hard to see unless I make the brush a little bit bigger. So let me turn my brush flow back to the middle and my brush fall off down. And let me make my brush just a tad bigger. Brush fall off controls from the center of my cursor, how much is going to be painted out towards the outside of my brush. So center of my cursor is where my mouse is, and the outside of brush is the circle around the outside. So if I had that brush fall off really low, it's going to paint essentially out to the perimeter of my brush really quickly. So you can see it painted pretty much out to the perimeter of that brush. So let's switch back to red and hit fill, and that fills it all back in with red again so we're kind of resetting and let me turn my brush fall off up pretty high and now do the same thing you can see well it's so high well that's because i'm still on red i gotta switch this back to green and you can see it's not all the way out it's not as wide as it was before let me do it back here let me do fill and so brush fall off let me do that all the way out here back to green so you can see it doesn't fill out all the way to the end of my brush. It's a little bit more, you could say, shallow. So that's brush fall. You're going to play with these depending on what kind of look you're going to get. And speaking of look, what's this look like? Well, let me see. We painted some green here. Let me, um, let me backfill red again with everything. Um, and if you ever mess up, so you can see here, you can change your color palette. I wouldn't ever really do this, but let's say you do it by accident. I just change this to kind of like this dark color. Um, I don't want to do that. I can just reset or I can come back here and I can click on red and it's back again. So we really only want to paint in these pure colors here. Um, so where was it going? Oh yeah, let's paint some different things here so you guys can see what's going on. Let me make my brush a little bit smaller, bring my fall off down towards the middle again ah that's pretty good so let me paint some green right here let me paint some blue right here and let me paint some black over here all right and you're wondering well what's this going to look like well that's what our legend is for down here red okay is a very simple rough uh material with mo lines on it it's hard to see here um, but the simple thing is you can just i'll show you how to check these really quick um, green has divots blue is like a sandy worn look and black is no um mo lines okay that, these are just the defaults and we can change this and that's where we have to get into the theory coming up so if i switch vertex painting off you can see here i got some divots now which were interrupted by this sand. And it's hard to tell, but there is a spot over here where we got rid of the mow line. So let me turn black back on. And you can see if I start scribbling with the black, the mow lines disappear, right? So now you can see what I can do with vert painting. And just to close the loop here, let me go back and I can do divots now over that area. So I just painted some divots there. And then let me go to blue and I can paint some more worn out areas here. And then depending on how you use these, the sensitivity of this is all changed as well. Okay, you can just kind of dab around. So something to play with. I want to just give you guys a chance to play with vert painting tools here. So um, have fun with that. Now, if you want to really look to see what these look like, I could always go to green and I could just hit fill. Now you can see what the divots look like. Okay, so our divots actually have mo lines on them, if you can believe that. Uh, I could go to blue, hit fill, and you can see that's the sandy look that we're going for. Now you got to be careful because that gets tiled. You can see it's got a pattern to it, but we're not going to put this across the whole thing, of course. And if I go to black, I can fill that in, which is a fairway with no mo lines. So I should be able to go back to red and paint mo lines back on, right? So if we do that, and you can see the mo lines are starting to come back in there a little bit. Oh, 
it's taking forever because I got to turn my flow, my fall off up. There we go. I could also make my brush bigger, but you can see the mow lines are starting to come back in that area. That's just a quick intro to vertex painting. Okay, we're going to have some more on that later on. So a quick little addendum to the Vert Painter video um, is this show 3D preview. I'm adding this because there was a bug and it wasn't working when I made the previous section of this video, but now it's working, which is comes in a little handy, is when you're Vert Painting, if you really want to see a better preview of these things, um, because it's hard to see what you're working with here, you can do show 3D preview. And now this will come up and you can fly around here and you can get, you know, a better preview of exactly you know what you're working with i'm getting a little bit of the clipping issue going on here but you can see now that i can see what the red channel is i can see the divots on the green i can see the sand on the blue and lastly i can see the no mow lines on the black all right so that's the 3d preview and you can just then hide it <laughs> 